Hi everyone and welcome back to It's Your Beauty. Happy Easter. Today we're doing a very easy Easter egg inspired colorful look. Hey, that was a lot to say, but it's Easter. So I woke up this morning and was like, hmm, you know what? Why not? So if you like to see how I created this look, please just keep watching. First things first, priming of the eyelids. Today I'm gonna to use the NYX pencil in milk. And then we're gonna set it with the setting powder, using this as a primer and as a base. It works just as well, just as good as other bases. Now that the base is set, the palette that we're going to use to create this Easter egg inspired look is by Laura Lee Party Animal, this palette. And the first color that we're going to use in the inner corner is It's a Party. Yep, not gonna say it out loud, but that was one of my favorite songs. Is this color right here, this yellow. So that's the first color that we're gonna use on the inner corner. The brush that we're gonna be using to apply It's a Party is the Morphe M433 brush. Can't get that song out of my head. Do you know how cool it would be if YouTube let you play whatever music you wanted to play? I mean, it, it could go a little ratchet, but it would be cool as hell. So let's apply. Let's put it's a party. And I want this color to stand out. So I'm gonna pack it on. Stand out. Not stand out, but I want you guys to be able to see this color. So, stand out! You know what I'm saying. Y'all know I get on here and get tongue tied. And I don't know why. We're all family. Same brush, second color is called Drinks. Oh my god. This. <laughs> This palette has a theme because now I got all these songs in my head. There's this orange color right here. Oh, okay. I'm just going to keep it to myself, but man, that was my song too. I'll be playing that right now by T-Pain. So we want it to go a little bit into the yellow just to transition it better. That is so funny. The third color is called Bottoms Up. This is too easy. I don't know if these songs came out before this palette or these pa this palette came out after these songs, but come on now. Trey songs. Y'all know I'm singing this now. It's this pink color right here. I don't know why my colors are off. There you go. That's our next shade. O-M-G. I want to sing it so bad. But I know I can't. Because YouTube, they ask me on it. They'll be like, yeah, no. But that is so funny. We're gonna move away from that palette and we're gonna go to the Blue Moon palette from ColourPop. And yes, it's dirty, it's dirty. Come on, y'all know, y'all know I don't keep this outside of these palettes clean. We're gonna use Starry Eyed and Moonlight, which is Starry Eyed is this blue and Moonlight is this blue. And we're gonna jump in between both those colors. I 
If I was given a judgment based off my palettes, they'd be like, yeah, her palettes, yep, always dirty. The outside, the inside, I don't know, I try, but one day I'll probably get in there and clean them. Not 100% sure, as long as the inside is clean, as long as I don't leave them open. Now what I'm going to do without having any product on the brush, I'm going to use the Morphe M330 brush, 330. It's just a fluffy brush and buff out the edges just so there are no hard lines. It's a clean brush, no product on the brush. I just want everything to kind of blend in together at the top. I'm about to cut the crease and I'm going to use the method that <laughs> I'm taking a shortcut okay I'm using a makeup wipe and tweezers this is a method that I kind of stumbled into maybe a month ago I have a video about it uh, I can link it in the cards above if you guys like and you can check that out it just cuts cutting a crease cuts cutting a crease it cuts the time down to me you don't have to do this step I love it though I still have those songs in my head that is so funny funny and not funny all at the same time just depends on when the songs came out and when the palette came out Where I cut the crease, I'm going to use um, Max Paint Pot and Soft Ochre. And I'm going to apply that with a detail brush. Just so the color that I'm going to use down here will stand out. And I've never had to set this when I apply it. That's one of the reasons why I still like it and still use it. Where we cut the crease, I'm gonna use Too Faced Life's A Festival palette. And it's this palette right here. And I'm going between two colors. I'm going to use Unicorn Tears in Beeman, which Unicorn Tears is this white color right here. And Beeman is this iridescent off-white color right here. I'm going to use a Morphe 506 brush to apply those colors. I'm going back and forth between, I'm dipping my brush in both of them actually same time just to get a mixture we're gonna go back into the party animal palette and I'm going to take this slanted small paintbrush and I apply some setting spray and I'm going to dip into It's a Party and apply it to my lash line. You might have to do it a couple of times just to make sure the color shows. And then drinks. And then bottoms up. And then the 
ColourPop palette in Starry Eye. Like I said, you might have to go over it like twice just to make sure that your colors are seen. But if you spray the brush, you should be okay. We are going to repeat the same steps that we did on our top lash line to our lower lash line using the same brush. I sprayed it again with some setting spray, just a little bit. And when you're applying colors to your lower lash line, just be careful not to go in your eye because a lot of these colors say that they're not made, you know, for being close to your eye. So that's why I always like to use a very small precision brush just so I can control the product better. And then I'm going to take a slanted Q-tip, like I always do, because I like for it to look like liner. I always go right back underneath it. Because I wanted the colors to pop, I did not use, I didn't do a wing liner today. Yeah, I know, shocking. Uh, but I did apply some liner to the lower lash line, and I'm going to apply Smashbox Super Fan on my lashes. This step is optional. If you want to do a wing liner, you can. Or if you want to add lashes, you can. I just wanted the colors to show today. It's Easter. Why not? Okay, so I have to admit, I was having a uh, cat eye withdrawal. So I did a little small cat eye, really, really small. I was very, very careful because I wanted the colors to show. I also used a little bit of Beeman, which was that iridescent color from that uh, Too Faced palette to highlight my cheekbones and a little bit on my nose. And then I applied some lip gloss. This is the finished look, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you have a nice Easter, and I really appreciate you watching. Till next time, guys. Bye.